Uh, we got grading every. Oh, I didn't even put it on here. Grading every pick from the first round. Um, so starting off with uh Victor Wembanyama, obviously that's A plus. I think it's gonna be A plus across the board. Yeah. Um. Yeah. A plus. I don't really like uh that little presentation that they had out there. I thought that was a little bit much. No, they that was crazy. Of, Wait, what? A lot of pressure on. You didn't see uh where they went to the the Spurs arena. And they had everybody there, and they had a dude talking. He was calling him the savior, and like I'm, I'm not like trying to. Didn't they do the same thing with Zion, or am I tweaking? No, I thought they did the same thing with Zion. Yeah, no, I agree. It's I, like for I don't get why. Like I get it. he's a great prospect, but like if you're putting this much pressure on yourself, like if he meets your expectations, you're happy he you met your expectations. You know what I'm saying? Like he can't impress. You know what I'm saying? Like you can't impress a person. Like all you're setting yourself up to do is be disappointed. That's just stupid. So yeah. I think it's like. You give these high, high expectations, and sh- you're satisfied when he meets them. You're not, like, happy. You're like, oh, yeah, he should have always done this. Like, no, just, like, I'm sorry. Let the guy just play basketball. Like, let him just do his own thing. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. I'm, I'm happy that he's in. He's going to get all the attention because he's Wemby. But, like, imagine he went to, uh like, L.A. or a New York. You know what I'm saying? Like, where the media is all around him. Like, I think it is good he went to San Antonio. Hopefully it's a little quieter out there. But, I don't know. I think it's like they keep hyping it up all the time, right? Like you just got to like calm down for two seconds. Like stop calling him the savior. Stop calling him a top five player. All right. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's just. Well, Bro, they like, followed They followed up the, the savior thing with a tattoo of do man on the back of his head. Like, it, what are we doing? Well, it wasn't, it wasn't a tattoo. I thought it was a haircut. It was a haircut, but they. Oh, they, it was a haircut. Okay. They called it like Yama Town or some some weird. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they, they put they crazy they, pressure on them, bro. They're they they putting crazy pressure on them. They had T-shirts saying the San Antonio Wembies. Yeah, bro. I, that's... I get it. You're excited to get him, right? Like the Zion hype was real too, right? Like the Zion hype was real. Like we can't like talk about like it wasn't a big prospect, but like I don't think he. They were calling like this LeBron level like prospect, right? His build was crazy, but like. Still, I don't think he was getting near this kind of like hype. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. It's there's so many factors that's gonna go in his career now. Like, if dude gets injured, is he's a bust? Like, just, I don't know. It's, it's just sad. It's been nasty, but A plus, man. I hope A plus for sure. A plus for sure. But yeah, they putting a lot of pressure on my boy. I um, hope he's gonna last crazy. The hair goes crazy. Fine. I'm hoping he's just. I'm hoping he's good. Like, I'm hoping A plus. Also, A plus from the, uh, the you know that's that's uh, unanimous, right? Yeah. What for the Spurs? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, now that we talked about that, where does v- Wemby rank? <laughs> sorry, where does Wemby rank all time? Bro, what? As far as prospects? No. Oh. <laughs> all right. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Anyways, next, next. Oh, that was crazy. All well, right. Uh, <laughs> next up, we got Brandon Miller. I'll okay. start. I think it was a C. I mean, <laughs> I think it was a C pick. Yeah, no, it's I like agree. he's a good player. He's he's a good player, but you you just pass up on uh, School Henderson, who's gonna be that guy. Like, a, he, he has a potential, potential to be the top 10 player in the league. I don't think Brandon Miller has that potential. Like, I think Scoot has a player to be, like, top 10, number one best point guard in the league. I think that's Scoot. Like, he can be that. He can literally be that. And I, so, for me, the pick should have been Scoot. You don't draft for a fit with number two. You never do that. In history of the NBA, that has never worked, ever. Like, we just saw with James Wiseman. You could have had a little ball, but you picked James Wiseman. You could have had Michael Jordan, but you picked um Sam Bowie. Like, stop. Yeah, should have y'all should have drafted Scoot. Y'all didn't. I think it was. I think this pick is gonna be one of the worst decisions in franchise history. Um, I I think it's gonna be that. <laughs> I think I think it's gonna be that that bad. I think it's gonna be that seismic. Um, like Michael Jordan, the last move out, the last move was 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 messing the franchise. I don't want to curse on here, but come on, bro. The last move was fucking the franchise. Like Jesus, the last thing you did was. Drafting Brandon Miller over Scoot, that's going to ba- leave a bad taste in his mouth. I don't think Hornets fans liked it. Um, don't draft for fit. You're number two. You need everything. on. You need everything. Um, Scoot does every single thing that LaMelo does wrong, bad. He does it good. And so I think it's going to be really redundant because obviously both of them are great shooters. Um, neither one of them can really attack the basket. So that's going to be redundant in the offense. So that's that's really my problem with it. In all fairness, in all fairness. Uh, LaMelo can't attack the basket. He's not going to he's not a uh, run player at all. In all fairness, fit or not, second overall picks have terrible track record of just being good NBA. They do. You got do. Uh, Stromile Swift, Jay Williams, Darko, Emeka, Marvin Williams, Michael Beasley, Hashim Thabit, Evan Turner, Derek Williams, Michael K. Gilchrist. Like, it's just bad luck of being a second round pick. Like, you got Ja, you got Kevin Durant, you got LaMarcus Aldridge, um, Steve Francis, Mike Bibby. Like, I don't know. It, I think it's like, it's just 
being a second round, like second overall pick, there's just not been good luck with it. I, I'll give the pick a B plus A minus. I like the pick. I've talked about it here. Um, I like Brandon Miller as a prospect. Um, I'm not gonna act like we got the pick. Like I got the pick right. Like I think it was rumored both ways. Like it wasn't a super super shocking thing for me. Um, I don't hate the pick. I think it's a good fit. Um, offensively, I think their team will be very good. I do think he can develop. I know you said his defensive game wasn't great. I think he can develop a defensive game um, based off size, based off overall, just, I mean, his frame. So I'm not too worried about it. Um, yeah, I think his ability to score the basketball is very good. So I think whether uh, Lamelo's on the court or off the court, I think that they'll be fine. So. Okay, yeah, I see that. Uh, D plus. Michael Jordan. <laughs> You're, you're a flipping idiot, bro. I, I don't understand what what is wrong with you. Never touch a, a, a NBA organization again. You are a great player, but as a higher up, no, I don't, I don't like D plus. What I'm going to say is going to be redundant to what T was saying. Uh, I agree with most of the stuff that T was saying. I agree with most of everything that NBA Twitter is saying. Uh, so yeah, no, no, D plus for Mr. Jordan. All right, next up we got Portland Trailblazers uh, selecting Scoot Henderson, the third overall pick. A plus, uh, point guard of future. You replace you get a, you get to replace Dame finally. Um, so so you think Dame's getting traded. Yes, that's, there's no way they're staying on the same team. I'm sorry, that's like that is the worst case scenario. We talked about this. I know you're saying he like he has to get traded. I'm hoping so, but he hasn't been traded yet, and it's you know what I'm saying like if they yeah if they want to find a best Dame, package if they keep Dame and they keep Scoot like that's the worst possible situation. I'm sorry, like I I guess for Scoot it's good because Scoot can develop under Dame, but like. Just give Scoot the keys to your entire team. Move Dame for whatever assets you can get. Like, either build for the future or contend. And you chose to build for the future because you picked Scoot. You're not going to trade him now. So, build for the future. Please just trade Dame. Until it happens, I'm not going to believe it happens. So, like, I, I just – I need they need to get Dame out of town. Like, please go let Dame go to a uh, contender. Yeah. It was always an A-plus pick. Okay, so, um, Houston Rockets. It's like I'm in time with the fourth overall pick. What are we grading that? Get out of A. Give him the A too. I think it's a, a great pick. They finally have a playmaker. They can stop using KPJ as that playmaker. Uh, I think he can set a lot of stuff up for Jabari. He can set a lot of stuff up for Jalen Green. Uh, you get Cam. Oh, damn! I don't, I don't really want to speak. How how many picks are we gonna do? When, are we grading every pick? Every pick in the first round. Okay. He's gonna set a lot of stuff up for Cam Whitmore. I think it's just, it's just a, a great move. Okay. Yeah. Be honest, you could you could give it an A plus for real for real. To be honest, for the sake of it, I'm gonna just give it an A. Since we got the whole first round, to be honest, we gotta keep it short. Just give a letter grade, give a quick thing, we good. Um, yeah. I'll give it B plus. It depends. Um, at five, we have uh, a Sir Thompson. I'm gonna give this grade a B plus. I think it's okay to go upside with the fifth overall pick. Um, the Pistons, I think the Pistons needed a wing, and that's exactly what a story is. Um, you could argue they could have went um Jerace Walker. You could argue they went Taylor Hendricks. You could argue they went a lot of players. But Sorry's upside is going um is is crazy. Had one of the biggest upsides in his draft. Um, as long as his three point shot keeps developing, I think he's gonna be fit uh nicely well uh, alongside K, Ivy, and um the rest of the team. So, um, I think to start his career off, he probably come off the bench. Probably gonna keep Bojan in there. Um, but. Well, who knows? Bojan might play the four. I, I'm trying to think of their, their roster. That's it's probably going to be. I'm saying, I no. be at the one. I don't think um, you can put Bojan at the. You can't put Bojan at the four. You put Marvin Bagley probably at the four. To be honest, I'm sorry. Yeah, that's I don't deep. know. What, I don't know what they're doing, that's but deep. I just I know. I think Osar coming off the bench probably going to start start his career, but it probably uh, was a reach. It probably was a reach, but you you're reaching the upside. So uh, I like I like the Osar pick. I'm going to give it a B plus. I'll do C plus. <laughs> what? You mean go? Or you want to go to? I don't know. You can go. I'll go C plus. Um, I think I'm not like hating on a sir. I like the upside pick, but if a sir does not shoot the bat, if he does not start shooting the basketball uh, better, Ivy can't shoot. Um, he can't shoot, so you can't really put Kate around guys who can't shoot the basketball. It's not good. Um, you could have drafted a four and Jarris, Taylor Hendricks, Cam Whitmore, um, someone who could have affected ga- uh, day one, game one. Um, yeah, I don't think you want Marvin Bagley starting, so. I think Jairus Walker would have been the better pick, uh, having someone come in and help out uh, day one, especially defensively. Um, I, if Asar works out, that's great. But, yeah, like I think just – you don't want to throw Boyan at the four. Um, he's not going to be able to play defense. Uh, you have so many bigs, but they're all centers. They can't really play the four. You're not going to put James Wiseman and Jalen Duran in the same lineup. So, um, 
I'll give him a C plus just because it's a good player, but just wrong team in my opinion. Yeah, um, I thought Jairus Walker was going to go here or Cam Whitmore or something like that, but I'm not mad at a star going here. So uh, I'm going to just give it an A. I think, I think it's a, a nice fit. I know um, those those are pretty good concerns, uh, Max, if the shooting, because Ivy can't shoot. But I don't know. He could. He can't develop that. And then Asari, his his mechanics aren't as bad as his brothers. I think uh, his side will come uh, a little bit further than a men's. So you know, I'm not I'm not mad at it. Uh, B plus A range. I feel like that's pretty uh pretty solid. But I'm gonna give it on my A. Yo, hold on, Steve. Just to make sure, I think your your Blazers picks probably looking better and better. Why? Uh. Did they pick Rupert? They might have. That's even that's even better. They got him like late second round. That's crazy. So if that's true, that's they selected great. yet. Huh? Did Imani Bates get selected yet? No. <laughs> brothers brothers go undrafted. <laughs> Anyways, um, um if, if they got if they got Rupert this late, that's pretty good. So good value. Yeah. All right. Next up we got uh Anthony Black at six. Now I did predict this. AB's my boy, my favorite player in the entire draft class. Uh so you said what, uh, Jaden? What pick is it on right now? I don't know. I just, you gotta ask Max. I think it's like forty-five though, forty-six. What? What pick? pick? It? Yeah, we yeah, was at forty-four, I think. So number forty-five. Yeah. So Orlando, I mean not Orlando. Orlando takes Anthony Black at six. I'm gonna get this. I'm gonna get this. A. I'm not gonna lie. This is exactly what they needed. Uh, more defense, a lot more playmaking. I think his three-point shot will come along. I think he can space the floor. His form is really nice. I think it'll come along. Um, he's a great. Playmaker, like he good at creating advantages for his teammates, and then once he gets those advantages, he make the uh, correct decision every single time. Low turnover rate. He processes stuff so fast, uh, but he plays his pace as well. As soon as you get on transition, it's a lob, it's a layup, it's a kick out to a three. He's a great, um, he's a great facilitator, a great decision maker. So I love this for um, the Magic. They do have a lot of guards. I'm not gonna act like they don't, but they suck, so they can go. Um, I'm not high on Jalen Suggs. He can go. Kawhi Leonard can go. Uh, for all I know, folks, see ya. <laughs> you can go too. So, <laughs> a little, yeah, terrible. Stop talking, please. <laughs> um, I know it maybe seemed like I'm I'm being a little bit generous by giving everybody a, but I think this is a good pick. Um, I know Teeth went a little bit on a deep end, but I think he can take over the reins as uh, the lead guard. I don't know if he starts off starting. I think Markel Fultz has uh, kind of solidif- solidified that spot. Maybe you could put him in at the two. I don't know. Or, um, yeah, you could put Markel Fultz at the two, I believe. I don't know if his shot is that reliable to be a two, but I don't know. I don't, it's some, some Gavin, you can make some shape, but uh, yeah, I'm gonna give uh, them an A. I'm not gonna talk about the second part because they have to pick that later, but yeah, Max, what would you gonna say? Uh, picks an A, they need defense, he provides defense. Um, Memphis got Gigi Jackson. I don't know if I like the fit, but. I'm happy went off the award. I just saw that happen. All right. Um, seven. Yep. All right. Seven. Um, I think what was it? So at first it was Jerace. I think it, it was Jerace, right? No, it was uh Bilal. But then they traded him to uh they traded him to the Wizards, right? Okay, no, so technically the Wizards had seven. That's what we're going to say. The Wizards selected the Bilal at seven. I'm gonna give the pick a B. Uh, I think it's a B because obviously uh, I think I would have took Cam here. I think Cam no no, no way no how Cam should have fell to twenty. Um, I think he was a pick here because he has a bigger upside than Bilal to my uh, knowledge. But what you have uh, with Tyus Jones and Jordan Poole is what you with like what you lacking that is what you're gonna get in Bilal. Great defense, uh, great in transition, um, a spot up shooter. He can develop into that. He's gonna be good as a, as a back end lob threat, and I think. He's working on his ball handle a little bit. He had the ball in his hands a lot more to end the season over there in France. So I think it was a B pick, though. Uh, I'll give it a – sorry, I'll, I'll give it an A. Just uh, – I'll give it A minus. High upside. Um, They needed a guy with high upside. I don't think there's anybody in the draft with at, at that position with more upside than him. Um, They could take on a project. They could afford to lose a season. So I'll uh, give him an A minus, B plus. I'm going to go and give them a C. I'm very high on uh, Mr. Bilal Koulibaly. <laughs> That nigga has a tough ass name. Oh my bad, my bad. He he has a tough name. Uh, but um, yeah, I love it. I love his game. I love uh his size. Pause. I love his length. Pause. There's a, a lot to like about Kulabali, but then again, he's a project. Um, again, I think his I wouldn't say his ball handling is questionable, but I think there's room for improvement. 
he's just a great athlete. Again, long he 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 can affect uh, the game on the defense. And I just think he should go a little bit later. So I'm gonna give them. A, and the reason why I'm giving them a C is because I think you select Cam Whitmore here, as the chief said. Uh, Cam Whitmore slip into the 20th pick is a crime, and I think that's gonna affect how I grade from now on. Because why are you why are you passing up on Cam Whitmore? I know there's a lot of spots where people did pick players off of fit and then they did fit the the team well but i think cam whitmore falling is just a little bit crazy so these next few grades you're gonna see cam whitmore uh being passed up is gonna affect the grade that i give him all right number eight uh we got jared walker to uh indiana i think this is a plus um you, this is a position of need and he also has a great potential as a player um uh, putting him next to miles turner is gonna solidify your back end i don't think it's gonna be no one's gonna be able to score him he's a he's a tweener He's kind of like a small forward, power forward. He can play make. He can uh, hit a three. He can defend. Um, a plus pick here. I think he could have went higher all the way up to five. Uh, a plus shooting's got to develop, but that'll come with time. Hey. Um, the Jazz took Taylor Hendricks. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, man. I think this is a C. I don't. I don't really think they needed. Uh, I don't really think they needed another uh forward slash. Like he's a he's a really he's a power forward. I'm not gonna lie. He's like a forward kind of like small forward type. I don't think he put the ball on the ground. Um, they needed really needed a wing, which they got later in the draft. But uh, for this specific pick, um, I don't know. I feel like they had enough defense in the front court with um, Walker Kessler uh, protecting the rim. This even this adds even more. But I don't know where he's gonna fit in. Like, I, would, I don't want to run him at a three. I don't think he put the ball on the floor enough. They had Lori running three last year, and then they had um, who they have, who they have. Kelly, I hope he'll take Kelly Olynyk's spot. I hope. Okay, if he spot. takes, if he, I'm not gonna lie. If he takes oh. Kelly Olynyk's spot, that's a, that's a, a, yeah. a, a Laurie, trade. Laurie Hendricks, um, Kessler. That's okay, a, that, that's 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 lineup. That's a trade. I'm not gonna lie. I have to change that. That's a pick because he's gonna be. I feel like he's a better defensively than Kelly Olynyk will be, and he could knock down a three as well. We saw that in college. He shot 39 percent from three. So I was hating on the pick earlier because I feel like they should have uh, swung for somebody higher with a higher upside. But when I think about it, bro, um, that was a good pick. So I'm gonna get him uh, a B plus. Uh, I'll do uh, B minus just because I think guard might be more of a place of need. They don't really have a guard. Um, they have Colin Sexton. That's about it. Um, I think Clarkson will get moved. Uh, I like Hendricks a lot. I think their front court's pretty locked for the future. Um, all young and all, all can play. Uh, but I think I might look guard. Considering what happened later on. You said what? I said considering what happened later on, I'm going to say. All right, Oklahoma City, uh, Case of Wallace. Uh, I'm gonna give it a B minus. I'm not gonna lie, I just don't get it. Uh, I guess you like you have a lot of guards, you have Giddy, you have Shea, you have uh, Aaron Wiggins off the bench, you got Trey Mann. Like, I don't know, they have a, they, I don't, I feel like they need either a wing or a backup big, but I, you know, they traded up to 10, they gave up, uh, they, they traded up to 10 to get Case and Wallace. Uh, they must have really loved him. I love Casey Wallace as a player. He's a great shooter. He's a great defender. He can play make a little bit. And so you have like three, you have three ball handlers with Shea, Giddy, uh, Casey Wallace. So that's going to be very dynamic. Having him off the bench. I compare him to like Marcus Smart and um, Drew Holiday. So I like the player. I don't know. The fit is kind of weird though. So I'm going to give it a B minus. I agree. I'll give it a C. I love Casey Wallace's prospect. The Thunder, my favorite team, but I'm just not really seeing how it fits together on paper, but. I'm not going to hate on it too much. Um, I'm okay taking Bertans' contract. Uh, we can get some more shooting. We need shooting, so I'll take Bertans, um, even though he's locked in forever, which is just way too much money. But um, I like both of them individually. I hope they work out, but I just don't see the fit right now. So. B, I don't see the fit. Uh, we got at number 11, we got uh, Jet Howard to Michigan. I'm going to start off. I ain't going to lie. This is probably a D plus. I just don't get it. Like You could have got Grady Dick here who offers more to you. Um, then Jet Howard, I feel like I feel like he's a, a little bit more athletic. Um, he gives you probably better defense. Um, he's a better cutter. I feel like the only thing Jet Howard really provides is shooting. And great, you can get that from Grady Dick. I think he's a better prospect. He has a little bit more upside. Grady Dick is a great shooter. He can you know create off the the, the dribble a little bit. But besides that, I don't really know what he brings to the Magic. He's obviously a great shooter, which is what they need. They need a four spacing. But he's got that and a lot more with Grady Dick. So I'm gonna get a, a D plus. I will see minus. Um, yeah, they're better players. I think that fit the needs that they end up picking. Um, shooting defense. I just didn't understand why they didn't pick up someone else. Uh, B minus. I do get that greedy dick. Uh, obviously went here, but they fill fulfill their needs with a shooter. They get a shooter. Uh, it's probably better options. But they need a shooter. They got a shooter. 
Be All right, we got uh, the 12 at Derek Lively uh, for the Mavericks. For me, I'm going to get this uh, an A+. Plus. I feel like moving back from um, 12 and getting um, Derek Lively, who you're going to select at 10 anyways, uh, I think – what did they uh, – I think they might have got a second-round pick out of this too, I think. Um, no, they just got money off the books. They just got money off the books. You got you got Davis Breton's contract off the books, replacing Rashawn Holmes, who is probably more reliable as a, you know, a defender to him. Um, getting Breton's terrible contract with two years left off the books is great. Uh, a great move. Like I said, the Mavericks cooked this draft. Um, they definitely made their future a little bit brighter. I'm gonna give this move a A plus. Derek Lively's gonna come in from day one, have an uh, instant impact as a shot blocker, as a lob threat, and potentially as a floor spacer. Uh, I'll give it a B. I think I still need to make some things in free agency. Uh, deal with Christian Wood. Um, maybe bring in another backup big. Um, I'm not as big on Rashawn Holmes as you are. Um, I don't know what you think Rashawn Holmes him, is. Yeah, I don't know what you think Rashawn. He's Holmes a backup is. big. What you mean? He's that's um, big depth. That's cool. Uh, I think if they could bring in a guy like Brooke Lopez, it'd be huge. Uh, I think he would fit that team very well. Get everybody, bro. Huh? <laughs> you want them to get everybody? Like that's crazy. Who? Hey, bro, I ain't. That's that's just not happening. Name one of the team that Dallas. I said Dallas would get. I just feel like Brooke Lopez is for every, has been floated around for everybody. I feel like oh, some Brooke, people just aren't really Brooke Lopez. Yeah, Brooke yeah, Lopez yeah. Is the majority of basketball teams. I thought you said Dallas. No, no. no I think, I think uh, Brooke Lopez can fit that team obviously very well, and they have cats now. They have some cast space to do it, especially they don't sign Kyrie. Um, bro, average three points and one re- and two rebounds last year. <laughs> Rashawn Holmes. Yeah, exactly. Like, what are we talking about? Uh, oh yeah. Um, yeah. No, I don't think it's like this crazy. It, I mean, cool. It's good for rotational pieces, but. I, it was a good. It was a good pick. They picked who they needed, I guess, um, as a big. But I got to see what they do in free agency to really. Uh, like I don't want Derek Lively and Rashawn Holmes to be my only um, bigs going into next season. Yeah, I'm gonna. I'm gonna give this a. a um, like they said, like they said, pretty savvy move uh, going down the 12th pick and then selecting the guy that you already wanted. Uh, the whole interior defense was a, was a big problem last season. You had White Powell, and then you had. Uh, that's terrible defensively. And then you had Derek Riley, and you had Rashawn Holmes. So that fixed your defense roles. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and give this a day. Can you hear Jaden or Mark Shepard? Or just like cutting out Jayden, a little bit? Jaden, your audio is terrible. Yeah, you got Jayden, you you're, 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 you're cutting it out. No one can hear you. You got like a bee buzzing in the background or something. That's yeah. so tough. Boy, that's you got a um, Toronto Grady Dick. Um, which let I me hop in. I'll, I'll let you go first. I got, yeah, go I got a, I got a BB plus. I like to pick a lot actually. Um, Scotty Barnes not a shooter. Uh, we talked about this today. Pascal Siakam's not a shooter. Uh, Gary Trent shoots the basketball. Um, so you need. I think you need another shooter, especially off the bench. Um, I think Grady Dick's offensive side. You have a lot of defensive pieces on that team with Yako Podol, um, and Scotty Barnes. I think you need shooting. I think Grady Dick can help that out a lot. I get what you're saying with the guard. Um, going out of the guard position, but you could go pick up someone in free agency. Um, if they just want to be a mid-tier playoff competitive team, you could throw a bag at um, a guy like D'Lo. Uh, I would say you could trade for a guy like Tyus Jones if he's still on the board, but that's too late now. Um, but, yeah, I think they can make do with another point guard free agency. I like the pick. Uh, I don't know. I just feel like I, a lot of teams are gonna, I'm going to get – I'm going to throw shade here for not driving Cam. I think it makes sense if you're going if you're going to re- run it back with this team because I've, I've been seeing that. If Toronto's going to run it back with this team, then obviously adding Grady Dick, who's going to come in day one and be a great shooter um, for you guys and provide some floor placing. That, that they really had a uh, problem last year with force spacing. So uh, Grady Dick comes in and fills that that need for you. Um, but I, I don't know. If you, if you rebuild the team, if it's a rebuild, it should have been Cam Wilmore. If this is – you're sticking with your roster, Grady Dick. So for that, I'll give it a C. It was – I didn't when I gave it a loser. I didn't have anybody really else because I don't feel like nobody else really took my L. Miami can look against the L, but you can get to that later. Um, I don't really like the Hame pick. But uh, Jaden, what pick is this? Thirteen, Toronto. Oh, yeah. This this is where Grady Dick got picked, right? Yeah. Yeah. No, I didn't really understand it, but I guess uh, yeah, I'll give it a C. Yeah, I don't know. They need a point guard. Uh, Jordan Hawkins to the uh, New Orleans Pelicans. I'm gonna start with. A plus. I'm gonna start I'm with uh, Jaden. I'm gonna start with Jaden since it's his team. But okay. Uh, <laughs> All right. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give this. I'm gonna give this a. a. Uh, I like that we need a shooting. I like how uh, Larry Nance was hyping this up, man. We, we got shooting. 
that is what we needed. But then again, uh, we do need a guard. But I guess CJ McComb could be okay for the next year coming. So, yeah, I'm pretty happy with Jordan Hawkins. I think Jordan Hawkins is great. I know you said Trey Murphy's like that, but Trey Murphy's also a slasher. He can cut to the basket more. Um, They're both very athletic. I'm saying Jordan Hawkins is more of a three point specialist, right? Like he's on the he's on the court to shoot. Um, I love the pick. I mocked this my own thing. I think I mocked it on our mock draft if I had it. But um, fit wise, I think it's great. Uh, I thought they could have gone guard too, uh, at like point guard. But I think Jordan Hawkins going there is a great fit. So I like it. Jordan Hawkins is going to be able to come in day one and have an instant impact because he his movement shooting is probably the best shooter in the draft. Uh, probably especially the best movement shooting. Um, I think Jaden like him as a player. Um, now I think y'all definitely do need a point guard though. Still, like CJ not gonna be able to get it done. Um, I guess you're gonna go point Zion. I guess I don't know, but uh, I think uh, we've been doing that, man. <laughs> <laughs> Jordan Hawkins is gonna come in and be a uh, instant impact type player. So I I love it. I love it for the uh, Hawks. I mean, not for the Hawks, the Pelicans. I'm gonna get the the uh, the the pick of B plus because I think I need a point guard still. Um, so Kobe Buffin could have been a pick. Who went uh, number fifteen? I would have went Kobe Buffin on Pelicans. I'm not gonna lie, but uh, at fifteen, Atlanta Hawks uh, got Kobe Buffin. I'm gonna start with Max because he didn't like this pick. So why did you like this pick, Max? It's it's not anything against Kobe Buffin. It's just the fact that they put so much time, effort, and money into Dejounte Murray last year, just to literally now you're done with him. You know what I mean? You give him a one year rental, and that's about it. He didn't even play that bad this year. He's a decent player. Um, Dejounte Murray is better than Kobe Buffin. Like Kobe Buffin coming off the bench. Um, I would rather gone. I, I get Derek Lively's off the board. I would have gone with the big. I would have gone with Cam Whitmore and tried to trade him, try and trade up in the draft. They're just in such a weird position, in my opinion. I just don't know what they're doing. Trying to put everyone on the trade block makes no sense to me. Um, I don't think just drafting another guard. Like, if you're, if everyone, if the only person out on the trade block is your point guard, why would you draft another point guard? I, I don't get that. Um, I don't think ideally you're going to play Kobe Bufkin at a two. I think you're going to play him at the one. And if it's a two, then you have two very undersized guards. So, um, not even undersized, just in the grand scheme of like a league, it's two short guys at a guard. But I don't know, it just didn't make sense to me. So oh yeah, Imani went to Cleveland, Jaden. I wanna let you know that. Um that's that's actually pretty good. That's actually, that's actually good. decent. Holy yeah, it's actually good. Jeez. Um I mean it's all right. Uh, anyways. And he scored. <laughs> the one thing they need is shooting and scoring. And he's and you've said multiple times, oh, I can't play basketball, but he can't shoot. I mean, he takes very, very bad shots, and that's not gonna fly in the NBA. But anyways, uh, we're not talking about uh, um, Iman Debates right now. But uh, number sixteen, oh no, number fifteen, uh, Kobe Bufkin, my one of my favorite players in the draft. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna disagree with Max. I feel like they need a guard depth. They got wing depth. They got us. Uh, they got front court depth, and so they need some guard depth. To, uh, but they might move Dejounte. I've been saying that. Um, I think Kobe Bufkin is exactly the type of player you're gonna have alongside. Uh, Trey Young, someone that can play off the ball, someone can defend, someone can shoot. So I like the pick. Uh, I'm gonna give it an A. Yo, I'm sorry. Did you guys know Bryce Griggs in the draft? I didn't know that. He's not getting selected. That's crazy. No, he's not. He's 46 right on the big board. I just look at through people. I did not know Bryce Griggs entered his name in the draft. I remember him from high school. All right. Yeah. At 16, we got Keontae George to Baylor. I mean, Boy, Keontae let me George to Utah Jazz. Let me grade he the pick. He didn't, he didn't get to go. Oh, I didn't know you. Oh, I didn't know. I didn't know. I didn't grade the I last two picks. What do you mean? You really graded the Jordan Hawkins? I'm yeah, sorry with you. What are you talking about? Talk about the Jordan Hawkins. Okay, you're right. You're right. You're right. My bad. My bad. <laughs> no, I'm a, I'm a, I'm going to get it to B. I don't really uh, agree with Max. Whatever Max gave him. Max, what you doing? <laughs> hmm? What did you give him? Yeah, you should have been listening. What did he give him, Zeef? Uh, it was like a C, I think. Yeah. I don't know. I, I listened to his explanation. I didn't listen to the great. Uh, we had Utah Jazz to set the Keontae Jordan 16. I like it. I I think they need a guard desperately. Um, if they wouldn't draft him right here, I would be mad because like y'all just drafted Taylor Hendricks. So yeah, I definitely need a guard. A big a big need. I needed a scorer too. I think Keontae would be competitive on the defense end as well. Um, he has some really big uh efficiency struggles. Like his efficiency was terrible. He takes bad shots. Uh, he has a terrible shot diet. He turns the ball over a lot too. Not that great of a passer. I know I'm saying a lot of bad stuff, but his his uh potential is still very high for me. He's one of my favorite players in the draft. <laughs> He just gave him the 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 Josh Giddy special. Anyways, <laughs> I, mean, <laughs> I think I think uh, Keontae George is him 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 him. If any, if I wanted, if I was if I was to get a player, that was nasty. I, actually, that was kind of gross. Let's get like, like, we go to the next pick up now. Him 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 him. That was bad. Weird. Weird. 
mentality. I, I like Jordan Hawkins, man. Like I, I like what he provides. Like you said, I think he's gonna be able to impact winning uh, day one. But I think with Jordan Hawkins. We're talking about uh Keontae George. Bro. Keontae George going to Utah. Can you let me finish what I was saying, please? He, he, I think you. he made a mistake. He made a mistake, bro. That's cool. No, I didn't make a mistake. Oh. Can okay. you let me finish? I like All Jordan. Right. I like Jordan Hawkins. Uh, I think he's gonna impact uh, winning uh, on the first day. But then again, I did. I did like. I did love Keontae. Uh, Keontae George is able to the score. I know he does pose a lot of turnover problems. I know he his shot diet isn't good. Uh, just like a lot of people in this class. Uh, like I'm high on uh, Mr. Kurt Shafino, but we'll get into that later. But yeah, I kind of I kind of want to. Um, Mr. Keontae George on the, on the squad, but yeah, I like him a lot, and I, I like this fit for uh, Utah Jazz, so I'm going to go ahead and grade this pick a B. I'll go B+. Plus. I like the fit a lot. They need to score off the bench, um, but with Ochai, again, I think Jordan Clarkson should be gone. They need to trade him. They need to capitalize on value. He could be the uh, new Jordan Clarkson, be the spark plug off the bench. Um, I like the pick. Who is like a starting point guard? Hmm? Who is a starting point guard? Keontae Colin Sexton not- is gone. Keontae is not yeah. coming in day one. I mean, I can lose a shot in one drop. Colin Sexton. Colin Sexton right. is gone. Where's okay. he at? You said what? Where's he's he in at? a trade market. He's on a trade market. Yeah, he's, 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 I don't think he's, nobody's going to trade for him, though. Utah's – what? Who? I don't think nobody's going to trade for him. Let's yeah. move on to my boys, man. Hey, man. Number 17 to – hey, man. Jalen Hood, no, hey, my boy. You don't – don't – don't get – don't get – Can I finish? Like, Dang, bro. You're not even looking to get into it. My boy. Uh, my y'all boy. didn't like my y'all, – y'all didn't let me finish. Yeah, bro, you was done. Nah, anyways. 17, Lakers selected uh, Jalen Hesfino. Now, this is one of my favorite players in the draft class. I scouted him like three months ago. Uh, Jaden, stop. <laughs> no, I, w- I will give you this one. I will give you this one. Come on, bro. We talked about this a while ago. We both like Yeah, Jalen Hood is, is, is him. I ain't going to lie. He's a great – he's great. He has a great pace. He's great in the pick and roll. He's a great playmaker. He's a good marine shooter. The only little struggle he has is three-point shooting. I think he has one of the most complete games in the NBA. Shot selection? I mean, not NBA. Um, yeah, he has bad shot selection. Sometimes I, I think that's gonna come with LeBron. I'm sorry. I think LeBron will, like LeBron will get him to have better shot selection. Hundred percent. Right. Uh, I'm what are you talking? About? Like, 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 I'm sorry. I, I think I think the shooting's the biggest issue. I think LeBron. Yeah, the shooting's the biggest issue. He's good on defense too. Let's let's not forget that he's good yeah, on defense as well. Like, I'm not trying to cut you off. You, can yeah, you did. You definitely you definitely cut me off. But anyways, my grade. Stupid. That's what I was. Like, oh, shot selection. No, I do think that. If you play with LeBron, and LeBron AD, for fifty shot selection. <laughs> Anyways, uh, I'm gonna get a grade a B minus because I feel like we could technically drop the Cam Whitmore and flip them for like, bro. Imagine we drop Cam Whitmore, a team at like 21 or 22, like trade for him. We could have flipped them for Dorian Finney Smith. I feel like that's some, that thing, something that was attainable. Like, that's something that was attainable. You don't think? You don't think? You don't think the Nets will want Cam Whitmore? I don't think I'm walking away from the draft being like, oh my gosh, I got Dorian Finney Smith. Like, I, I think I would. Yeah, got... you're tripping. You're wilding because the Lakers need 3 and D. The Lakers need 3 and D shooters. I they need veterans. Now, I don't, know, I don't know how Jalen Hood fits into our timeline because LeBron is 40 years old. So we need to win now. We need to win now. So I don't know. I don't know if Jalen Hood, Shafina West House is winning. LeBron's still 38. So 30 I'm, I'm going to say, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say B. I'm, I'm going to give it a B. And I'm going to go off what you said was saying. You're saying he's one of the most. You said, what did you say? You just say pro ready? Uh, no, I didn't say pro ready. I said complete players in the draft. Players. So I'm thinking, I think that he can he can defend right the shot selection, whatever he can lead an offense, right? So if he can come in day one and do the minimal, do the you, you can lead an offense. I mean, he did that in Indiana. They were good offense. Hey, I'm not gonna lie, he is not. He can't be. I don't oh. think he's gonna be a starting point guard for us. To, in the I don't first think he, year. No, he won't be a starting point. I'm just saying, like, if he can, like, honestly, just give minutes. Are you bringing back D'Lo? Are you bringing back Dennis Schroeder? I get Austin Reeves. Some people bring, are back, bring, bring back shorter, but D'Lo can walk. I, I think it, it, now with LeBron, if you can get him off the court and let him rest, if Day Hood can play literally two minutes a quarter, throw a, a minute a quarter, and get LeBron off the court and let him rest for a second. A a quarter. I'm just saying, if you can yeah. let LeBron get, I don't know what you're cooking, buddy. Huh? I don't. I don't know who let you cook. I'm not understanding what you're saying. I get who he's saying. He's saying he can come I'm off the bench. He's just saying that LeBron. I don't know, bro, because you know how hey. many. Let's be honest. How many rookies have an impact on LeBron? On, on LeBron many, teams? I think Jordan okay. Hawkins is the one team that was the one guy who was going to have this day one impact. I think Jay Hood's good. He's not old enough. He was, he was older. I think he could have like a little more experience. But I just think if you can get LeBron off the court, he's only getting older. If you can try and get him to rest up a little bit and prepare for the fourth quarter, Jane, why are you saying this? You think he's already washed? So why are you looking at me like that? No, I'm just confused on like how. Mr. LeBron Hood. can't play 48 minutes a game. 
But how does how does his Shafino affect that? Though? How does Kim Whitmore affect that? He doesn't. So I think no. I did not say we should keep him. I think we should have flipped him. I'm just saying, like, I, how does Dorian Finney Smith affect that? He's not a guard. I think we, when you're looking at the We don't need him position, for footmaking, bro. We huh? need him for we need him for defense and three point shooting, which he would have helped a lot. I think okay. Well, uh, J Hood. I ain't gonna lie. We could we could lowkey. We could have got D, we got we could have got DF, DF, DFS. They could we, we could have got the twenty first pick or the twenty second pick for sure. We definitely could have did that. Man, I don't know. I, I think I do think I'm um, giving this pick a C, bro. I don't know. I like I don't mind the pick because I think you can address other stuff in free agency. First of all. If this whole project doesn't work out, if LeBron, if they don't win a championship, you got to think about the future. Yeah, it's so good, you for, the gotta get a young it's good guy. for the future. Like, but I, I'm sorry, you got Austin Reeves and you got Rui Hachimura, who's young, but not really super young. He's a free agent. So, he's not coming back. You got to. You think he's gone? We don't have the money, bro. We had to give. We, we have to give Reeves like 25 million. Well, not nah, like 20 million. 22 okay, million. Because you called me crazy when I said you got to throw 25, 27 to Reeves. No, no, no. Anyways. No, 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 27 um, crazy. So no, we probably not got the money to bring him back now. Uh, no, you got to start rebuilding now. So I think getting Jay Hood, I think it helps now more than you guys are thinking. I guess it does, but I think it also sets you up a little bit for the future. Yeah, it was good for the future. Um, also, Max Christie's getting buckets next year. I saw you said. I saw you said, oh, Jaden and Maxwell Lewis. Yeah, Maxwell Lewis, great pick. We got him at forty. Oh my god, man. Anyways, uh, we we got uh Jaime Jaquez or Jaquez. Where his name is? Um, I mean, um, I mean. I mean, I guess. <laughs> I guess it fits into the the whole heat thing. Um, yeah. oh, ca- Jaden, that's a casual take. That's a B minus, uh, B plus, A minus pick. He is pro ready, very experienced. He can shoot the three. He can play defense. He fits in that system. Amazing. I, I'm literally not, I, just like, I literally just said that. You just went in more depth. He, he, went, no, he was def- he was I definitely just saying that. He was definitely just saying that, Max. I don't care. Yeah, I'm sorry. He's pro ready. He's on the like I'm it was a great pick. He's old, which is not great, but he fits their timeline perfectly. Um yeah, I think it was a great pick. I think it was high outside players on the board. Um, uh, I think Jaime Loki could have won in the second round, honestly. I don't even know how he was invited to the green, but obviously he was invited into the green room for a reason. But uh, <laughs> I thought he was going second round, and I, and I'm not, we didn't even have him in the first round, if we be honest. So I don't know. I, we try to act like we. No, I think Max him. did. I think I think Max I told you. Did. I was asking the question. I was like, I'm gonna go Jaime here at the last pick. You're like, oh, that's crazy. Okay. okay. Anyways, uh, you didn't have the last pick. I did. But anyways, um, hey, hey, no, 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 no. I think it was the second to last. But you picked Tristan Vukovic. We saw how that went. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> anyway, because yeah, because bro, the Clippers are stupid. We're gonna get to that later though. But uh, later. I mean, they're, they're third. They're third. They're third. They're the last oh, team. Oh. Okay. Anyways, um, Jaime, uh, I think it was higher upside players on the board. So I'm gonna go see. I think Cam Whitmore would have been a way better pick. Yeah. Uh, like I said earlier in this draft pick. I mean, earlier in this um, grading the picks. Uh, the grades is gonna is gonna be impacted on if you select a Cam Whitmore or not. So then this this takes it down some. So I'm gonna go C minus here. But I do understand it. Uh. Next, we got Golden State and Brandon Paz. How do you pronounce his last name? Pod Zimski. So, why'd you say Paz? How is it? Pod. I said Pod something. Oh. I don't know what it was. Uh, I'll go in first because I love him as a prospect. I think he's a great prospect. Um, showed a lot going from Illinois to Santa Clara, balled out like Jalen uh, Williams did. But fit wise, I'm not a huge fan. So, I'll go B minus. Oh, I'll go C. I'll go C, actually. I don't know why they drafted for a forward. I think they need a big. Um, someone at least who could play big, uh, not a shooting guard. So you got Steph, you got Clay, you got Chris Paul. You have too many guards now. I don't know why they went another guard. C plus. I think it was like a B minus pick. He provides. Uh, he he's a more of a wing, not a really of a guard. He can he he can't handle uh like play make a little bit, especially in the pick row. But he's a great shooter. Um, he's like a, he's a he competes on defense. I like the pick. Uh, I'm gonna give it a B minus though. I don't know, but you couldn't like you can't really stretch. You definitely can't stretch with the four. And I think stretching put him on the wing. Whoa. Put him on the wings, whatever. But you don't even know if you're getting Draymond back. So you he's need- a bench score. You're getting Draymond. They're getting Draymond. What, 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 what do you think the reason they don't uh, trade Bull was today? Huh? Was to get Draymond. It's also to be out of. You know how much they owe in cap and the luxury tax. Another reason why they <laughs> traded Bull today. I'm yeah. just saying, like I think that's the main reason. I think they owe like 300 million or something. They're getting Draymond back, bro. Okay, next up we got uh, Houston Rockets A plus. I'm not gonna lie, Damn. getting uh, a top five talent at 20 is insane. But Hey, Pods. Hey. All right, y'all. Uh, 21, Noah Clowney to the Brooklyn Nets. I'm going to get this one uh, A-. minus. I love this because you you pair uh, Noah Clowney uh, next to, to um, Nicholas Claxton. Nicholas Cla- and I think Noah Clowney works well because he can hit a three. They both um, can defend the paint. So, you know. And gives him size. Yep. So, your front court is established. 
I don't think it'll be hard. Very, very hard to score on them. Um, I thought I'm, he's a great help side defender too. But I'm very casual for this pick. Noah Clowney's flown under my radar for a while. I'll mock him wherever, but I feel like I don't know much of his prospect except for defensively. So I think defensively they have a great front court. Um, offensively, it might not be the greatest, but he can shoot, bro. B plus. Um, B. Oh yeah, I'll go with the C plus. Derek Whitehead. I'm going with another A. I think Brooklyn did very, very good. This is 22. Uh, they, Brooklyn Nets took Derek Whitehead. I think the uh, I think the Nets did a very good job drafting tonight. Uh, Derek Whitehead is one of my favorite players. Um, w- watching him at Duke. Um, he was really bad at attacking the basket, but I think in high school he was really good at attacking the basket. So. I think uh, injuries played a part this year. That's why he fell. He's, he was going to be a top five uh, pick. But I think the upside is very, very good. I think they needed a wing, as well, another wing. Um, but I thought like they could have went guard and probably went like Kobe Jones, who got dropped in the second round, but, or Marcus Sasser. But they definitely needed a guard, I feel like. But, you know, uh, Derek Whitehead is like a shooting guard, small four type. Um, I think it's going to be a knockdown on three. It's going to be a tight to basket. He's good on defense as well. So I would get a, a pick of A. I like, I like it a lot. I like it a lot more if they lose Seth Curry, especially. Um, if they lose Seth Curry, I think it's a decent replacement, just getting a shooter. So I'll give it a B. Yeah, B minus. Next up, we got 23 Portland Trailblazers, Chris Murray. I love this pick. Uh, I'm going to give this one another A. I think pro- this, this capped off another Portland Trailblazers first round that was good. Um, getting Chris Murray who, next to Scoot, going to be a stretch of four for you. You know what Chris Murray's going to be? He's going to be Keegan Murray. He's literally the same player, basically. So I feel like he's going to um, come Isn't in. He better, Isn't he better no? defensively? Keegan? Yeah, no, Chris. Uh, I think so, a little bit better. Um, but he's gonna be able to stretch the floor for you. He's gonna be able to rebound for you. And so I think that's a, it was a great pick. You can move out Jeremy. You can move out Jeremy Grant with this pick. Uh, F. I wish Chris Murray fell to the Kings. And <laughs> <Keegan and Chris laughs> that's about it. <laughs> that was a good pick. Um, yeah, A minus. A, a, I give it A. Hey yeah, man, no, I, wish, uh, I wish I wish he would have fell. That would have been perfect. If they both play together, that'd be crazy. Olivier Maxer Prosper. Olivier Max since Prosper to Dallas Mavericks at 24. Great pick. You need that defense. You need his uh he's gonna bro, he's gonna do be a do-it-all player. He's gonna get on the floor. Mm-hmm. He's gonna hustle every single play, bro. He's gonna be out there in transition. He's old. So, bro, he's like 20, he's like he's like 21. So he's gonna come in, be very polished off the rip. And you need, you know, so he's a young player, but he's been able to win now for you guys. So um, I think they got two players that will help them winning now. And that's why I like Olivier Maxer Prosper for the um um the Ma- the Mavericks, I'm gonna give them a minus, a plus because they also got Rashawn Holmes, great center according to Latif Love, <laughs> fourteen and ten to twenty. Hey, he averaged fourteen and um, eight in ten, bro. By the way, when when in 2020, 2021. <laughs> but two ahead, years ago. he also hit it. He like his Maxon's prosper. Two years ago, he's also Chris developing Paul his three point shot too. So I like two that. Was, two years ago, Chris Paul was hooping. Now look where he's at, man. Hey, what you got on this pick, bro? Oh, I'm giving this an A off of his name alone. Um, <laughs> True, he's got bro, that. I love about? I love great names, bro. Like, nice. Guy with BC Air, bro. Remember him, bro? Like, yeah, tough. So I'm, I'm giving well, that a just he's the number one prospect out of high school, I think. Right? Wasn't he like, yeah, a dog? And, then he, yeah. and then he got trash. Oh, real talk, real talk, though. It's the apex. This is, um, like the develop sh- shooting is huge for Dallas. <laughs> shooters. He didn't shoot great, but I agree, he did develop his shooting over the couple of uh, over his years at school. So, I think defensively, it's huge. Um, they do. Have some young pieces to build around, some cheap pieces to build around. So that's huge. All right, uh, twenty-five. The Trail Pistons selected Marcus Sasser. Uh, well, they got they traded it or something like that. They got it somehow. But uh, Marcus Sasser is going to the Detroit Pistons. I, I'm gonna get this pick a, a B. I think um, he provides uh, shooting and scoring off the bench for uh, the Detroit Pistons. He's, a, he's one of those tough players that the Detroit Pistons like to have. Um, a rough rider. He was very good at Houston. He was Houston's best player this year when they um, were one of the best teams in the country. I'm gonna go B. Hey, hopefully Killian Hayes does not play basketball anymore. Hopefully he takes his role. Um, yeah, he probably will. Yeah, no, I, 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 I'll see Pistons games. Like Detroit's not that far, so I'll go see Pistons games. That's kind of like why I was talking about, like whatever the Pistons in our group chat stuff. I think that I like Marcus Sasser a lot. I again, I would have addressed forward position. Um, going somewhere in the forward position, they went all guard and they went guard the past couple of years. So I don't know if I love that, but um, experience I think will be helpful on a young team. I think they'll go together. I'll go. I don't know, B minus. B minus. B minus. B B. B minus. Oh yeah, B B. All right. Uh, Indiana Pacers took Ben Shepard uh, from Belmont. I'm gonna get his pick a uh, B. I feel like uh, he he provided um, shooting. He provides defense, a little bit of playmaking. But I feel like it was a, a couple of my players on the board had high upside. 
Um, but he will come in. He's a little bit older, so he'll come in and be a one-out one out player, a very polished player. And I think that can help the uh, Pacers rebuild a little bit. So um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give him a, a B. I'll go A minus. Um, he's played four years at Belmont, so I think he's experienced. Um, he's got some uh, stuff under. He's like he's played basketball for a while. Obviously, he played it four years. He developed his shooting a lot. He shot terrible his freshman sophomore year and developed to shoot uh, forty one. Uh, shot for almost forty two percent his senior year. If this makes Buddy Heald, as I said, expendable. You can trade Buddy Heald now. You can get a first round pick or whatever you want for Buddy Heald. Um, do you see Buddy Heald follow LeBron on Instagram tonight? Yeah. Yeah, so whatever. If you try to trade him to the Lakers, even though they don't have a first-round pick, I don't think. But um, if you could try and move him around now, it's a lot easier because you have a shooter off the bench. So, Me. Uh, A-. All right, number 27, we've got Nick Smith to the uh, the, the Hornets. Uh, I guess it's good value, but, I mean, hey. Great value. It's great value for a player that was mocked in the lottery in the start of the job process. But, I mean – Nick Smith is Nick Smith. We know all the issues that he has uh, with his uh, playmaking ability, with his uh, the shot shot selection, with his um, frame, uh, not really good on defense. But uh, I guess. When it comes to the pick, though, like with all that being said, when it comes to the pick, I feel like you have to give it a, a nice grade. What, what grade did you give it? Oh, what did I say? A? No, you said I don't know. Yeah. Oh, well, okay. So I'm going to give it a B plus. I'll say B, B minus. Wow, you're higher on me than I. Um, BB minus. I think I like it a lot. Like I don't mind the pick. Um, I still think like the, their issues are with the forward, uh, the front court position. So I, they didn't really address it. But as a player, I like him. Um, I think he can learn uh, behind Lamelo. I think Terry Rozier's out now. Um, he could slide in that role. Yeah, B plus. Um, and, and number twenty nine, we got um, Julian Strother to Gonzaga from Gonzaga to the Nuggets. Great pick. A plus. Um, a, a plus. plus. Um, I think he can come off the bench and provide scoring for you. He's a 3 and D type player. Um, the Nuggets are doing a great job of trying to stay in contention while also getting younger players and not have to pay so much. He's a win-now player. He can come in um, and be effective immediately off the bench for you. Um, and you're losing Bruce Brown, so you need some some bench pieces. Um, they, made a bunch of the, they made a bunch of moves around the finals and recently to get these picks. Um, they're using them to impact players. So um, Julian Strother is a great shooter. If you lose Brucey e. B, um, you're fine. Go ahead, Jay. Me. Right, <laughs> nice. Um, Kobe Brown from Missouri. Um, I'm. I, I guess. Yeah, I'm a casual. I'm sorry. I'm a casual. I don't know who that is. Yeah, now, I, was, yeah he, I don't even know who this is. Um, he coming. <laughs> nice. Um, he coming over from Missouri. Um, now I just feel like I'm. I'm a great to just pick on what I think the Clippers needed. I feel like they need big depth. So James Najee would have been good here. Who went a, little, a couple picks later? I think that have been um. That would have been better for them. I feel like Zubac is um, not the rim protector that they need. But I feel like James Najee is a little bit of a project. So, technically, he wouldn't be able to come in and have an instant impact because – well, I don't know because what he is good at, the Clippers really need. So, I would have probably took, like, James Najee or a big here. I feel like they need a big depth. Or an Oscar Thea Weeby or something. Somebody, bro. I, but – Oscar Sheeway, Sheeway, whatever. No, Sheeway. That's I don't know why I say his name, bro. bro. I'm not casual. Lying. Wow. I guess I'm a casual. I guess I'm a casual. Anyways, what did um, you say? Tia Weeby. Tia Weeby, bro. Sheeway. Oscar Sheeway is a dog. Yeah, he um, can shoot. No, no, no. Uh, what's his name? Kobe Brown. Kobe Brown. Point. Yeah, I didn't know that. Short. Kobe Brown. He he shot 45 percent on almost five attempts. That's pretty good. Yeah, he can um, shoot. He can shoot. I'm not gonna lie, but I feel like they don't even really need wing depth. I, it's, I it's, swear to God. We talked. We talked about this in the when we did our mock draft. They have like what? They have like eight six, wings. Like six, six, seven guys. So <laughs> yeah, I, they need they, the center, they need a guard right here or a, a center. That was, outside yeah. of Victor Wembayama and Derek Lively, the center <laughs> class was bad. So I think there was like, you know what I mean. Hopefully they address that in free agency, but the center class is bad. Yeah, you get a good shooter, but I feel like you have a you have like eight wing players. You don't need you didn't need Kobe Brown, so I'm gonna get his uh, pick. Uh, he's a C. He was, he's a good player. I don't like the pick. We're not gonna go through the whole second round, but quickly, any second round picks y'all like? Max Hill was the Lakers. Me, me, stop. I love you, Monty. I love you, Monty Bates. Max Hill the Lakers is good. I love um, Jordan Walsh the Kings. I thought Jordan Walsh had a shot of being a first round pick going to a team like Denver, who's trying to compete um, and needs a defensive player. Uh, the Kings, whether they're trying to compete or not, their defense sucked. So getting the Warriors just traded Patrick Baldwin Jr. to uh, the Wizards for what? Tracy Jackson Davis. Trace Jackson Davis. That's funny. Uh, yeah. Honestly, not a terrible pick. Not terrible at all. Actually, they need bigs. TJD, 
Um, yeah, I like I like Imani Bates. I, we're not we're not gonna talk about it this episode. We're gonna talk about another episode. But the Washington Wizards might not win double digit basketball games this year. Mark my yeah, words. Yeah, we gonna talk about that tomorrow. Uh, today it was this. This is like literally right after the draft. Uh, first round. I think the second round is still going on. So this is our initial reaction to every first round pick. Three more picks um, today. Three more picks left. Go ahead. Go one ahead. thing. One thing. Um, this whole draft thing. Uh, this it, this isn't that important, but I just. It's kind of hard for me to watch the draft. Not hard for me to watch, but I feel like the draft just got a little bit like more commercial and cringy to me, bro. Like, did y'all see the did y'all see the first part when, when Wimby was was about to get drafted and then that that girl got up and then like she started showing like like jab steps and like um yes oh yeah yeah, yeah. That, that was, that was, that was, was Luke and Andrew's sister. Yeah, that, yeah, that no. threw me. That threw me for a loop, bro. Like yeah. it was hard for me to watch. It, it took like five minutes. I was like, "What do we do?" I was like, "What? What's happening?" Yeah, I'm like, "Bro, what are you doing?" Yeah, I was. That was a little weird. <laughs> That's it. It yeah, was dude. just on my mind. No, I, I don't know. Right. I like. I like the panel they got. I like. I like the panel they had. No, crazy draft wild. night. A lot of a lot of stuff happened though. But that was our uh, initial reaction to the first round. Not um, crazy. I enough. think me and Jaden. What? Not crazy enough. Charlotte and Portland both say put a lot more stuff could happen. Um, it was crazy to me. I feel like the uh, people that failed, it was crazy. Um, but yeah, that was our initial reaction to the first round of the NBA draft. If you made it this far, like, comment, and subscribe for my content. We will be back more with NBA content. Um, we just ran out of time, basically. It's really late, and um, people got stuff to do. So yeah, we just gonna have to, we gotta get out of here. All right, y'all. See ya.